what's happening guys welcome back to my channel and yes we've just come back off a big win at home at the emirates against our oldest rivals well to me our big rivals manchester united and what a win three one on home turf with goals from the captain of the guard Declan Rice, Rice baby, getting his first Arsenal goal and Gabriel Jesus coming off the bench and slotting it perfectly home to secure three points against Man United. Let's get into the player ratings. Up first, of course, Aaron Ramsdale. He gets a standard six out of ten for me. Made a few good saves, didn't have much to do. And again, I said this in the last video as well, the first goal was no error of his. I mean, when it comes to Rashford, there's really no stopping him. And let's be honest, it was a very good finish. But other than that, Aaron Ramsdale had a six out of ten performance, a good game overall. One goal conceded. Moving on to the next. Let's start in the right back position. He's back in right back. Ben White gets a standard six out of 10 for me. The only reason he's, he would have got a seven, but the only reason he's been pegged down to a six is because that Rashford goal, he completely went wayward and ran away from him when uh, Rashford was running, running down that left wing. Ben White should have been closing him down, completely lost him. And Rashford had all the time in the world to decide where he was going to go next. And he got past all of our defenders. Uh, ben White, Saliba, and got past Ramsdale as well. But that's I feel that's one of the main errors that Ben White made in this game today. Other than that, a very good performance in right back for him. So a six out of 10. William Saliba made an absolute crucial block um, in the second half against Rashford again. Rashford is on us always, especially at home. Um, but Saliba saved the day there where United could have gone up again. And uh, a, a, another good performance from Saliba. He gets a seven out of 10 for me. Gabriel Magalhaes is back in the starting lineup. Finally, the centre-back pairing is back together. And he had a very stellar performance for someone that hasn't played a full night in, in a very long time. Seven out of 10 for Gabriel. All the headers were there, especially when um, Man United's new stri um, striker came on, number 11. Cannot pronounce his name properly, so I'm not going to attempt. Is it Hoyland? Um, yeah, he looks very physical, very strong. And Gabriel did really well to hold him up and... Yeah, very good defensive performance from Gabriel. So, yeah, seven out of 10 for me. Left back, Alexander Zinchenko. You know, standard performance, not the best. Didn't do anything magnificent. But, but you know what? I can say he did keep that side, Anthony, all that he kept them all quiet during the game. So, he gets a six out of 10 for me, a standard six out of 10 rating. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say for that, really. Yeah, moving on. Let's move on to our midfield. Martin Odegaard, Captino, he stepped up to the plate. He looked on it from the moment go. He was pressing. He was. He just looked raring to go today. Um, and he gets a 7 out of 10 for me. What a finish for his goal as well to level up the play and get us back to 1-1. One, one. Very good captain performance from him and very demanding. Control the midfield alongside Declan. I just think them two have been working well together. So, yeah, 7 out of 10 for Martin Odegaard. Up next, Kai Havertz. I feel so bad giving him a low rating because I feel like he hasn't had the best, uh, what's the word? Like, he hasn't had the best feedback from what I've been seeing online. He's he's not kicked off yet. Even in the press conferences, it's all about Kai Havertz, Kai Havertz. And yeah, it's not been the greatest starts to his Arsenal career. And he completely fluffed the ball and he had a chance in the box, in the six-yard box to, to score. And um, that's not the main reason he's getting a low score. And he, he's not very influential in the midfield at the moment. I'm not sure if it's confidence. And the first goal came from his error. Um, I'm, I'm having to, like, explain everything for the reason for the low score. I feel really bad. But it's going to be... I don't want to say four. I'm going to give five. I'm not going to be too harsh. But it feels, for me, it feels like a four out of ten performance. But I'll say five. Um, that pass he made to Odegaard, that was not really a completed pass. And it led to Manchester United being on the tack and then Rashford scoring. And just those things caused Kai Havertz to have not the best of games. And I really hope he can improve soon because Arteta seems to be including him in the lineup every single game. So he needs to, he needs to get going now. So yeah, five out of 10 for Kai Havertz. Declan Rice. He is here, ladies and gentlemen. What a performance from him overall, not just the goal. Um, I'm going to give Declan an 8 out of 10. Uh, he was always the one collecting the ball from Ramsdale to, to build the play up, um, up the pitch. Defensively, he was doing his job. The goal, where do I start? He just controls the midfield well. And even when you feel like at moments he's going to be dispossessed, he just always seems cool and calm under pressure. He keeps the ball, finds the pass. Sprays it out wide, like he's just he just does the job. 
amazingly well. I'm giving him 8 out of 10. That finish, not the best finish in the world, but who cares? He controlled it, brought it down, hit it and said, you know what, I'm going for it. Off the post and in, just what we needed at the right moment of the game because we were just hoping for that winning goal. I mean, thought it was going to be the winning goal, but it wasn't. But yeah, Declan Rice, 8 out of 10 for me. Well done for your first Arsenal goal. The attackers now, who should I start with? I'm going to start on the left. Let's go with Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli had such a magnificent game. The only thing missing was the goal. And he came so close um, towards the end of the second half as well. But other than that, he was doing everything right on that wing. He was getting all the balls into the boxes. He was winning. He won so many corners. I felt like he won about 10. I don't know the number, but it felt like continuously he was having corners on his side of the pitch. And he played the assist to, Mar uh, to Martin Odegaard's goal. And he kept doing that. He kept creating chances. Uh, the only thing missing was the goal, like I said, which I'm gutted for him, but I'm sure it's coming soon. I really hope it is. But it's a seven out of 10 for Gabriel Martinelli. Up next, Eddie and Ketia. No goals today. I actually really thought that today he would have bagged two goals. I don't know why I had this confidence. I just thought maybe the England call-up gave him that extra confidence. He scored twice against Man United at home last season. So I just thought he'll do it again. But a still a very, very good performance from him. He was on the break many times. And who was it? Lindelof literally tried to... I don't know, try to get an ambulance called for Eddie because he did everything to stop him. Uh, Eddie had a really good game. I'm going to give him a six out of 10 today. Up next, Bakayo Saka. This boy, man, he is special as well for him. The only thing missing was a goal, but he got the assist for Declan Rice's goal. All of his corners were perfect deliveries. He just needed someone on the end of them. And luckily for that one in particular, Declan Rice got on the end. And Dallow, he kept him quiet the whole game, like. That was a serious battle. Every battle has been interesting seeing Saka in the last couple of games, especially the one against Forrest of Ola Aina, um, last week against Fulham. But this one as well, Dallo couldn't get a sniff. And yeah, Saka's just proving why he's star boy quality. Great performance from him. I'm going to give him a, also a 7 out of 10. 7, yeah. I was going to say 8, but 7, 7. Right, let's get into the substitutions. Who was the first? I always forget who the first substitution was. Tommy Yasu, standard 6 out of 10. He came in, um, helped us seal the deal. Like, standard performance from him. Happy he got his minutes. 6 out of 10 to Tommy Yasu. Fabio Vieira. I feel like I want to... I'm going to... I mostly give subs 6 out of 10, but I feel like I'm going to bump him up to a 7 because, once again, he's come on and got the all-important assist. He did it last week. He placed the ball into the box. Eddie finished it. Today, on the break... Quick thinking, played the ball, through ball, through to the Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus finishes. Uh, Fabio Vieira, I Fabio Vieira, impact sub off the bench. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 today. Now, speaking of the goal scorers, well, moving on to Gabriel Jesus. Oh, do I give goal scorers 8? Am I doing too much? Do you know what? I'm going to give it to him. Like, he hasn't played recently like he hasn't had a, a full 90 but considering he's someone that's just come back from injury he was on the bench and I feel like like I said in my, one of my recent videos he might have to fight for his place back in the team he's come off the bench straight onto the pitch and bagged not just any goal like this goal was pretty special for him to send the defender the complete wrong way take his time and then slot it bottom right corner Brazil Brazil what a goal, what a finish, and he sealed the deal 3-1. So do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to be generous today, and I'm giving our substitute, Gabriel Jesus, 8 out of 10. Mikel Arteta, how do I rate the manager today? I'm not sure. I like the starting lineup. So for that alone, I'll give a standard 6 out of 10. I like the subs. He made the subs at the correct time. Oh, my gosh, I forgot Reese Nelson. I always forget the sub. It's so bad. That's because he didn't play that much. Um, I'm going to give Reese and Jorginho standard 6. There's not much more I can say about that. Sorry, guys. Love you lots. Um, Mikel Arteta, six out of 10 for me as well for the starting lineup, for the substitutions, being able to see out the game, the substitutions making an impact once again, like Vieira and Jesus. So yeah, six out of 10 overall. Let me know what you think of my play ratings. And as always, please leave yours down in the comments below. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. There's lots of Arsenal content coming your way. Match day vlogs for Arsenal men and women. The WSL is back in action soon. We've got Champions League coming up as well for the women and the men. So there's lots of content coming. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to not miss any. And also hit the likes. I know you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.